Well hi folks, um, all my secret tape have arrived today, I've got loads of different types, some are more, some are Nicola, King Edwards, the variety Bluebell and uh, some Kestrel today, so now it's just a matter of chitting them. Now people say what's, you know, what's the main purpose of chitting a potato? Well, the main thing is, is because these are only going to be planted out in about six weeks in, in April here because it's that cold, so we'll just leave them in the bag somewhere then by that time then they start producing big long rubbishy sort of transparent shoots because they'll be searching for the light so basically the reason why you chip your potatoes is to stop that and also it makes them grow away a little bit quicker when you do get to plant them so the first thing to do is when you get your seed potatoes is the idea is to find the end that's got the, the eyes in that's called the rose end that's the end where the sprouts will, where the shoots will come out. There's, there's the rose end where the shoots will come out and that's the end where it used to be attached to the plant. So what you do is you put this rose end upwards in anything, like egg boxes are ideal, or I find these seed trays are quite handy. And it's just a matter of placing them with the sprouted end upwards in something like I say, seed trays, seed trays or an egg box or these little modules are, are quite ingenious because they just sit in them and they don't fall over and you'll see which one it is because it's got the little sprouts emerging and then it's just a matter of leaving these in a, a, a really bright place but frost free and cool you don't want it to, you don't want it to get any frost whatsoever because the, the shoots are really tender and you want it as bright as possible because then that will stop the shoots searching for the light and you'll end up with little, ideally about anything from a half inch to an inch sprouts, you know, dark green sprouts is what you want by the time you get to plant them out. So it's a simple operation. You don't forget to put a label or write down what the variety is, otherwise, when you come to plant them, you won't have a clue which is which. So, like I said, what is that? I've got some different ones here. They're all different sizes. I've got uh, some of the King Edwards are quite small for some reason. This is a new variety to me called Blue Bell, which is a bit of a show potato. It's got purple splashes to the skin, so that should be quite interesting. So the same thing again. I don't know whether I can get it in and show you. If you look, that's the end. They're called the rose end with the with the eyes where the sprouts will come out, and at the other end there's nothing. So you want it that end pointing upwards. And try not to drop them. It's just a matter of, like I say, just sit them with that end upwards in a bright frost free place. And then in about six weeks, you should have some nice, thick, strong, skimmy green shoots, and then they'll be ideal to plant out in about April time or whenever your chance of frost passed. So that's chitting potatoes. Simple as that.